Ben and Jerry's will end our sale of ice cream in the occupied Palestinian territory. Read our full statement. Now, the occupied Palestinian territory to which they are referring is, of course, Israel, uh, which is pretty, you know, uh, pretty, pretty pog. It's also known as the OPT. We also hear and recognize the concerns shared with us by our fans and trusted partners. We have a long-standing partnership with our licensee who manufactures Ben & Jerry's ice cream in Israel and distributes it in the region. We have been working to change this, and so we have informed our licensee we will not renew the license agreement when it expires by the end of next year. Although Ben & Jerry's will no longer be sold in the OPT, we will stay in Israel through a different arrangement. We will share an update on this as soon as we're ready. So not all of Israel, but the 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 areas, the expanded borders so maybe like you'll be able to get ben and jerry's at like the the original israeli like 19 what is it the 1967 borders or something and then everything else like they don't sell it there so like people the the people in like the colonial territories will flock into like the the one little central district where all the ben and jerry's is happening I, though to be fair given how far right israel is i have a feeling that like um the ben and jerry's that are still operating in those areas uh, are gonna get, like, firebombed or something, you know? I don't know. Ben & Jerry's is gross. Tillamook is where it's at. You're literally delusional. Ben & Jerry's is some of the best ice cream you're going to get at a grocery store. Unless you're going to, like, a specialty place, Ben & Jerry's is about the highest quality stuff you're gonna get at most of these places. For sure. Undeniably. You know why? Because they don't cheap out with the fillings, okay? You get other stuff, and it's like, here's a pound of chocolate ice cream with one chip in it, okay? Have fun. Ben and Jerry's, they will just pack in everything they can. And they have so many flavors. So many flavors. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Anyway, uh, obviously the reason why this is funny is because of the natural cancel culture reactions that we got from the, from the right. This is a tweet from like 10 years ago. I think the owners of Ben and Jerry's are awful politically, but they make a great ice cream, so I ate there because I'm not a vindictive a-hole. Now, the reason he tweeted this at this time was because people on the left were saying they didn't want to eat at, I believe, uh, Chick-fil-A, because Chick-fil-A is uh, homophobic or whatever, you know? Uh, so back then, he was like, well, I disagree with Ben and Jerry's, but I'll eat here. And then, of course, oh, guess I won't be eating any more of your ice cream. Some other conservatives said this, too. So did Netanyahu, I think. Yeah, didn't Netanyahu say this? He, uh, uh, hold on. Remember, whenever I type off stream, it's because I'm embarrassed of how bad I type. Yeah, here we go. Now we Israelis know which ice cream not to buy. You know? Yeah, like, okay. I mean, this is, can I mean, we, we, this is cancel culture. This is, we get this discourse back and forth all the time, you know? The conservative company will do something bad, and the liberals or lefties will be like, we don't want to do this anymore, and the right will go, nah, I disagree with things, and I still buy from them, but then something happens they don't like, and blah, blah. The difference is, right-wingers will say that the left-leaning people are being like cancel culture, you know, lunatic, sensitive snowflake crybabies, whenever they don't want to buy from a right-wing company. But when the right does the same, the left doesn't do that to them. They just say they're being hypocrites. The, the left's criticism is right-leaning people being hypocrites, not right-leaning people don't have a right to boycott businesses they don't support. The left doesn't hold off on that at all. And it's funny because the right has always been the orchestrator of cancel culture. For as decades backward, the right has always been the group to do this. They're the group that organized like the collective attack against comic books, movies, uh, mu rock music, metal music. Like always the right is doing the satanic panic cancel culture shit where this offends their sensibilities. They did it with Nike. They did it with Gillette. They did it with Colin Kaepernick. They're doing it now with the NBA because of the stuff with China. They're doing it with the NFL because the NFL ended up like uh, allowing people to kneel for the flag. They do it with everything, everything, all the time. They always do it, you know? So it's funny. You can tell, because I'm laughing. I'm, I'm, this is my Joker face. I'm laughing very hard. Ben Shapiro actually responded. Did Ben Shapiro forget there is a search function on Twitter? A lot of likes, retweets, what have you. And Ben Shapiro actually responded. You're right. I don't know why this 
says it's blocking me when this person doesn't. I check their profile. They haven't blocked me. You're right. I've changed my mind. I've learned that mutually assured destruction is now a necessity. Cringe. Mutually assured destruction. Okay. Well, you know what? Fine. This is actually my point, though I don't express it in this cringy of a way. Yeah. You know what my point is? It's okay if people want to boycott. That's your First Amendment right or whatever. Actually, I don't know if that's a First Amendment right. It's some kind of right. Yeah, that's a reasonable position. If you want to boycott something you don't like, fine, go for it. You should have a good argument for why you want to boycott it, but in principle, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, uh, ben Shapiro wants to boycott uh, Ben and Jerry's because Ben and Jerry's is anti-Israeli apartheid, and Ben Shapiro is pro-genocide of Palestinians, so he doesn't support them politically. So, okay, sure. The thing is, there are way more of us than there are of them. The general population is way more amicable towards the stuff that Ben Shapiro would want to cancel than, uh, uh, than their population is to us. I mean, they're, Republicans are like a third of the country, you know? Um, and with how effective Republicans are at stigmatizing their opposition, I'm kind of inclined to believe everyone who's not a Republican is at least in some way kind of anti-Republican. Not left-leaning or even moderate necessarily, but there's something about Republicans that just puts them off a little bit. And uh, those people probably are going to keep uh, buying Ben and Jerry's. You know? Did you see Ben Shapiro mauled about the recent NPR article where they pointed out how he uses outrage as a business model? No, but I'm not surprised he would feel that way. Interestingly, Ben and Jerry's uh, stock price doesn't seem to have been affected by this. When did Ben and Jerry's make the announcement? It was on Monday, right? Yeah, it was on Monday, I think. It was yesterday, right? Well, here's their stock. It took a $1 dip. I'm assuming when the when the market went live after the announcement, and then it just went back up after. But like, is like a one day hit. I don't know. Doesn't seem too devastating to their finances, but I'm not a economic expert. 